Oh, hey man, you guys are alligators. Ellis, there's something in the store, and I think we need a Ouija. What the fuck is Ouija? Is it a ghost thing? Yes, it's a ghost thing. It's a, it's a Ouija board. This is how you speak to the dead. That's dumb. We can move our fingers, and, and the spirits, like, take over, and it'll give us a message. So we can ask questions. I don't want to get fingered by a ghost. Why are you such an asshole? Come on, you're super high. Like, you give a shit. This game was made by Milton Bradley. I'm not exactly sure what's supposed to happen. I've only seen Royal Tannenbaums. It's pronounced Tannenbaums, and I think it's kicking in. How do you know? I just know. Yes, sir, no, sir. Lots of random shit. Where do I go, what sir? the fuck is that? What do I do? In James Rumpern's seventh year, his father killed an albino javelina with the family El Camino during a road trip to visit Grandma Joe. James asked for it to be mounted above his bed. His father obliged. After the senior Rumburn's passing, the young James found comfort in speaking to his deceased father through the Havelena. Her name is Vandalia Dell, and she's in my earth science class, and I really want to bang her. Whenever she's around, I just... I get a boner. A boner? What's a boner? Do you stir soup with a boner? Creamy soup. Who the fuck is she? Why the fuck am I dressed like Fred from Scooby-Doo? It's Wes Anderson's style. He's known for adding exaggeration to things that usually wouldn't be noticed. He brings the everyday to life in a way that no other director does. And now suddenly we're on a train. I have an important message direct from the consulate. Can I come in? Nah, you just stay out there, Bill Murray. What you got? Very well. Alligators have wider heads. Crocodiles have teeth showing even when their mouths are closed. Seriously, how awesome is this week? Oh. And the continuum will throw you towards the present. Ten seconds, you say. Well, changing the world's not going to be easy, Ellis. Let's get to work. All right, me first. January 3rd, Chanhassen, Minnesota, Paisley Park, Prince. Hey, yo, Prince, fuck those pills, dog. Why don't you try some weed? No one's ever offered me weed before. Thank you. February 3rd, New York City. Uh, imagining David Bowie. Hello, I'm David Bowie. Yeah, uh, we're from the future, we know, um, who you are, and, um, actually I didn't think this one out. I don't know if there's much we can, uh, we can do here. What are your thoughts on greatest hits compilations? Ah, god damn it, I fucked that one up. Oh, and I'm gonna ask a question. Spirit, if you're with us, give us give us a message. Ellis, it's moving. B. Alright, it's gonna spell it B. O. O. B O O. The ghost spelled boo. That's evidence. Oh, it's moving again. B. S. Fuck you. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, this one's gonna be good. Alright, warn me before it happens. One, two, two. <laughs> come on. Alright, we gotta focus. Hey, check this one. Uh, March 30th, uh, Las Vegas. Uh, place my bet $18,000. Chicago Cubs win the World Series. Give me my motherfucking money. This isn't about personal gain, Alice. We're trying to save the world here. My money, motherfucker. My money. Alright, uh, whatever. Uh, March 1st, New York City, Donald Trump. Oh, hey. How's it going? Um, we're from the future, and 
You win. You're the president. I see. You know, I'm dropping out of the 2016 election. It's, uh, it's rigged. It's like, nah. Nice. Boom, that was a big one, Ellis. You're welcome, planet. <laughs> 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 We chose five people we would most want to get fucked up with. Each of you have a special quality. Something that will make this THE greatest smoking session of all time. Hello Tom Petty. You were chosen because A. You're Tom Petty. And B. You are a witty and wonderful storyteller. Thanks man. Kind of you. No problem, oh man. Okay. Everyone say hello to Snoop. We chose you because you brought a bunch of really strong ass weed. And I lost my virginity to la de da de we like to party. All right. Smoking weed, high school football, y'all. Hey, everyone, look, it's Bob Dylan. What if I wasn't here? What if I was just gone? Like an abandoned trolley car at the end of the line. What's Bob Dylan doing here for? And Sir Paul McCartney. Yeah, sir, that's right. I'll ask you again. What the fuck? Is Bob Dylan doing here? Hey, it's mac and cheese. I told you not to call me that, you Nancy River cunt. Cheese is the cheesiest. Why are you calling Paul McCartney macaroni and cheese? Because he's cheese. Hey, what? What? You sound like a fucking frog getting fist jammed from a deep sea fishing mitt. What language is motherfucker speaking? I don't speak Dutch, Grandma. Yeah, I don't either, Snoop. Shut the fuck up, Paul. Oh, Tom Petty, huh? Ah, did you know I invented punk music and techno music? Fuck. I drive a Lincoln, because I like it. Matthew McConaughey. Go Longhorns. Hey, you want to hear a joke? What is a beetle eat for lunch? Macaroni and cheese, man. Fuck you. You got it, Tom Petty. Macaroni and cheese. Of course, Tom Petty sucking off Bob Dylan. You made a career of it, you know. Guess what, Petty? You're not in me league, mate. What league? Old lady softball, man? <laughs> you just got bitch slapped by a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> hey, fuck all of you. I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. I wrote here, there, and fucking everywhere. I don't need this shit from you knicker pissers. Whoa, 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 hold up. What'd you just say? Knicker. He said knicker, like British pants. All right, this has turned into a proper clusterfuck. We're here for laughs, bro. So I need you five to get the fuck out of here. All right, new group. Tina Fey, Nicolas Cage and that crazy face, former NBA and NBA Jam legend Sean Kemp, the dog from Frasier, and Corey motherfucking Feldman. Because Goonies 2 ain't happening, Pops. You're up. Ooh. I got one. May 19th, Los Angeles. U.S. swimmer Ryan Lochte. Suicide Squad was the worst movie I've ever seen in my entire life at the movie theater. No, actually anywhere. It was the worst movie I've ever seen. It wasn't even a movie. It was well, it wasn't a story. And Will Smith sucked. Oh, you should have seen it, man. Will Smith was... They were just giving him lines. And the Joker was barely in it, dude. And I got like maybe 38 seconds of Batman. Damn it, they put the Joker in those previews a lot, didn't they? Ooh. God, I'm pissed. I'm outraged. Hey, what was the name of that film critic that used to be on Good Morning America? Oh, Joel, Joel, uh, Joel Silver. Joel, Joel Siegel. Yeah, I liked him. He's always really, I don't know, he just had a little magic to him. Well, hey, Joel Silver. Joel Siegel. Hey, Joel Siegel, shut the fuck up. Aqua Hernandez, the bottle of water. And an orange go up to the bouncer. The bouncer's all, the fuck are you doing up here? Get to the back of the line before I break your legs. The orange goes up to him and slips him a 20. Hey man, what's the deal? Orange, you gonna let me in? The bouncer smiles and lets the orange into the club. Aqua Hernandez comes up to the bouncer and slips him a 20. What are you gonna do? Only let fruits in the club. The bouncer smiles. And let's Aqua Hernandez into the club. Cigarette goes up to the bouncer. Hands him a one dollar bill. Bouncer's all. 
And what the fuck is this? And the cigarette is all, Oh, come on, man. I don't got that much money. I'm just trying to get lit. Hey, stop that slow clapping shit. Let me do a joke quick. Um, where does a hipster go for the summer? What the fuck is he doing? To John Cougar Mellon Camp. Fuck you, hipster Cal. I see you over there, you rap bastard. Oh, look, I'm blowing up. Don't say that like it ever happens. Shut up. Unknown. Telemarketer. Hello? Hi. Do you have two minutes for a short survey? Get a life, loser. Telemarketers. God. The worst, right? It's outrageous. Oh my god. John, what's wrong? The guy I just talked to, he told me to get a life. What? Get a life? And he called me a loser. What? I just asked him if he wanted to take a two minute survey. Yeah, it's two minutes. What? And he told me to get a life. No. And he called me a loser. What? No. You just asked him to take a two-minute survey. I want to die. No. That's ridiculous. You're not a loser. John. Yeah. You're not a loser. Yeah, I am. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, John. No. Wow. I can't believe it. This is, this is so sad. I bet you he was bullied. You know, and then just one too many, you know, some complete asshole just put him over the edge. It's an outrage. I'm outraged. What was the name of the maid on Brady Bunch? What, in real life her name or her character's name? The character's name. Alice. I don't know what her last name was, but her first name was Alice. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Become a sustaining member. Damn it, damn it, man. The member drives are the worst. Today only, with a donation of $500, you will receive an NPR logo to water bottle. By refilling your dual tone pump top storage canister, you will not only enjoy delicious water, but save the environment. And really, NPR is a lot like water. Both are desperately needed by humans to live, and both can be enjoyed for free. But as we all know, water comes with a monthly bill. We pay that bill every month. Why? Because you don't want to take 50 empty buckets to the dirty creek on the edge of town just so you can flush your fluids. No, you enjoy simply flicking your finger on that handle on the toilet and watching it spin down the drain like a dying genie going back in the lamp. NPR is utility, but... Instead of fresh, clean water, which we do kind of provide with the bottle, but NPR is giving you the unbiased, fact-driven news right to your doorstep. Also, the filter on your new water bottle is pretty nice. A one-time donation of $500 will get you that state-of-the-art bottle with the NPR logo screen-printed in a hot retro white 2x2 two two right on the side. Donate today. NPR.org. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next drive I'll donate something. Or maybe you will donate now. Huh? Are you talking to me? Later in the hour, we'll be discussing the new movie called Belly Full of Politics, the untold story of President Taft. Author Harold Weiner will discuss what it took to bring this larger-than-life story to the big screen. Did you become a sustaining member yet? No. Why not? Don't you like to learn? Answer me. Why haven't you become a sustaining member yet? Did you hear about the new water bottle giveaway? Take out your cell phone, go to npr.org and donate $25 a month. Do it right now. Stop looking at your radio and do what I just told you to do right now. Did you hear me? I said... Oh, what the hell was that about? That was creepy. 
Okay, he wasn't talking to you through the radio. You're just a little bit high. Okay. Hey there. Oh, fuck me, it's Garrison Keeler. Oh, rhubarb pie. Have you seen this newfangled water bottle? Great for long trips to Lake Wobbegon. Get Hello. I need eye drops for pink eye. Pick up or drop off? I have pink eye. Are you picking up or dropping off, sir? I am having pink eye. I need drops. I see you're confused. Or maybe I just have pink eye. You need to go to urgent care and they will give you a prescription if they feel you do indeed need prescription. Touch it. Touch my eye. I'll give you $50 if you touch my pink eye. That is not my job. It's pink eye and you know it. Hello, are you number 66? No, I have pink eye. I need to get some drops. You need to go take a number and have a seat. Please feel free to use hand sanitizer. Oh, fuck you. Number 96. Hi, let's get you checked in. Name, please. James Rugburn. Good, 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 good. Spell the last name. Rugburn rug, like a rug, and burn, like the feeling in my eye. I have pink eye. I need eye good, drops. Good, 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 yeah. Are you on any medication? No, unless you give me those eye drops right now. Good, 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 good. Are you a smoker? No. Good, 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 good. Do you feel safe at home? No, but mostly because I'm losing my vision due to having an obvious case of well, pink yeah, eye. Well, yeah, good, good, good. All right, um, we'll get you checked in. Um, why don't you go take a seat, and the nurse is going to be with you in just a moment. How long is that going to take, you think? Oh, just a little bit. Not too long. Just a little bit. I just want eye drops. I wish I could have them now. James Ripcard. Ripcard? Ripcard. James Ripcard. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Chill out. Ripcard. Coming. Hello? I see in your chart that you have issues with a burning feeling in your eye. Yes, I have pink eye. I need drops. Well, take a look and we'll get it figured out. First, I have a few questions. Are you currently taking any medications? I have pink eye. Okay, we will deal with that. But first, answer my questions. Are you currently taking any... No. Hmm, are you sure? Maybe some anxiety pills? Something like that? No? Are you a smoker? No. Do you feel safe at home? You asked this before. Okay. I, I live alone. Let's just put a squiggly line. Let me look and see inside your ears. Nope, nope. Ears are fine. I have pink eye. I know it. I know it. 100% I just have pink eye. Just making sure you don't have an ear infections, which sometimes can cause similar reactions to pink eye. Please, Jesus, please, I'm begging you. I look like Super Stone Popeye the Sailor Man. Tell the pharmacy to give me my eye drops. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm only checking you in. The doctor will be with you shortly. What the fuck did you just say? Good evening, Mr. Carpet Fire. I understand. Whoa, you have pink eye. How about I just write your prescription for some eye drops? They'll be ready in five minutes. Go pick them up. James Rugburn, and I'm going to play a couple originals for you. Um, but before that, I'm going to play this old folk song from, from the 90s. <laughs> Maybe you'll enjoy it. Sing along if you know it. Oop, here we go. Hey, you want to hear a story? This will cheer you up. So last week I had sex solely because of the snuggle bear. Remember the snuggle bear from those commercials? He's always belly flopping in blankets and shit. Remember? <laughs> you want to hear the story? Well, I brought this girl up. Diana. Remember her? You saw her. She came up, took one look at the snuggle bear earlier in the week that I bought. 
and she lost her goddamn mind. Whew. So, you know. That's a bullshit story. It's a 100% true story. Well, it's not even a story. You just wanted to talk about you having sex. Bullshit. I, I was trying to cheer your ass up. I was hitting on her earlier in the night, you rap bastard, and you know that. Why are you bringing this up? Because I know it makes you feel better. Because I'm your best friend, and you want to see your best friend happy. I haven't had sex in two years, and one of my dreams died tonight. Why did you buy a snuggle bear? Because when a beautiful woman comes back, you better be prepared. I have an elf doll. Do you think that'll work? Owner of Pond Bible. I'm also owner. My name is James Rugburn. What are you looking for? Something tits like In It For The Money by Supergrass? Maybe Thriller by the King of Pop. King of everything, really. The best. Or maybe you're looking for The Slider by T-Rex. Otis Blue. Otis Red in Soul. My name's DJ. We already did the intro, idiot. Or maybe Feeling Strangely Fine by Semisonic. Hold up. I know what you're looking for. Kick by YouTube. In excess. Doesn't matter. I know what they're looking for. What? Adele. She is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Into Adele, huh? <laughs> Don't. Okay. Well, we got Adele, and uh, we also have uh, David Bowie's Greatest Hits. Um, a lot of you people want to get that. And Bonnie Bear, for some God knows reason. I don't like that dude. Sounds like he's swallowing a fart. It's weird to me. That's his appeal. His fans hold farts. But boy, do we like seeing them in the store. Come on down to Pine Vinyl. Everyone is welcome. Everyone except this low-life piece of rat shit. His name is Hipster Cal, and he is the worst kind of person. You know what this bearded prick was looking for last week? Nine Lives by Aerosmith. What the fuck are you gonna do with that? Listen to it. He said it's a time capsule. The last blink of a dying supernova or some shit. It sucks. It sucked then. It sucks now. Don't pull that shit with me. The lead single was called Falling in Love is Hard on the Knees. I repeat. The lead single was called Falling in Love is Hard on the Knees. That song ruined Alicia Silverstone's career, and she wasn't even in the video. But you know what? We got it in stock here at Pine Vinyl. We also sell glassware. It's up. Yep, we got it all here at Pine Vinyl. Come by and check us out. Or follow us on Twitter, where we have 123 followers. Or Facebook, where we have 224 followers. We don't have Instagram because that's for psychopaths. I have Snapchat. Wiener pictures. If you want them. Pine vinyl.